community. It's something that recent studies actually show makes us all happier, including seniors who see significant improvements to their health when they feel connected to and supported by their community. Stella Supper is looking to strengthen that, and Veronica Cooper explains how. <laughs> there you go. Thank Welcome you. and enjoy. Hello, how are you? Guests happily arrive at Stella's Supper. And there's a name tag for that. Hosted by the Soroptimist International of Victoria, West Shore. Just think of the word optimist and add S-O-R to do with women on the front of it. Get your coffee going. We began in 1921 and our particular club started in 2010. So we're one of the newer clubs, but uh, we're, we're small but mighty. It's a great group of women. No one gets paid. We all volunteer and uh, do our part. We're always looking for members. The word is, is made up. It's loosely translated Latin and it means best for women. So the organization is set up to support women and girls throughout the world in various programs. The dinner is named for Stella Moffat, a Seroptimist member for 50 years, who brought the idea to this club after moving here from Kamloops, where they hosted a similar event. I thought it, there was room here for one because there's a lot of seniors in this area and a lot of seniors who live alone and they need help and I'm one of them. I'm, in my, I'm 87, soon 88. I live alone. Cindy McCallum is a new member and was tasked with phoning and confirming guests. I got all the compliments, yet I haven't even been here before, but they couldn't say enough about the dinner and they wanted a tip jar. They want to know anything that they can do to actually pay back. This is a small token from the Victoria True Center, so you can just keep doing what you're doing. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Linda Kane had the honor of delivering a $2,000 check to Seroptimus West Shore from the Victoria True Center, which recently moved to a smaller location. Thank you. <laughs> And when we sold the property, um, the, you know, there was money left over. So we've been, you know, each month or each every other month, we try and support some grassroots um, local charities that are supporting families, youth, and small grassroots organizations that don't get much support. 36 guests are enjoying Stella's Supper. It's held twice yearly at no charge with volunteer drivers helping with transportation. I asked Stella how this night makes her feel. I feel that, what do I feel, that my life has been worthwhile. I have accomplished something in this community that I was parachuted into uh, that is going to last. Spoken like a true seroptimist. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.